Hello, my friends. Welcome back. How are you? I hope doing okay. Come on. Let's go read the inspiration for the day. When a flashlight grows dim or quits working, you don't throw it away. You change the batteries. When a person messes up and finds themselves in a dark place, do you cast them aside? Of course not. You help them change their batteries. Some need double A, attention and affection. Some need triple A, attention, affection, and acceptance. Some need C for compassion. Some need D for direction. And if they still don't seem to shine, simply sit with them quietly and share your light. That's 3 a.m. thoughts. Okay, let's see what I'm up to today. I have this cute Care Bear mold. Isn't it cute? I love Care Bears. And then I have this silicone piece that I made myself and we're going to put it right there in the belly of the Care Bear. And we're going to try to make uh we're going to try to make a nightlight. And I'm going to take this little ball here, the spear, and we're going to fill it up with all kinds of goodies and we're going to Pull the um, silicone piece out and place the ball in when it cures. Okay, I thought we would do this in alcohol inks. And I think I'm going to choose some of my pearl alcohol inks again because I absolutely love those. So I think we'll pick um, maybe, let's go through these and see what we can find. Okay, we're going to pick that one that's enchanted and it's one of my favorite. Okay, we'll go with divine. And then let's pick that purple. Let's do pink, blue, and purple. I think that's going to be really pretty. And when you um, muddy these colors together, it's a beautiful. Okay, I'm going to spray the mold with some alcohol. And I have some resin here. I mixed 60 mils. And I'm going to go ahead and drop a little bit of that resin down in there. Oh, I had to back up a minute, y'all, because I didn't have my little uh, silicone piece down in there right so I had to pull it out and uh, clean it off and set it down in there right and now I'm just picking some bubbles out around the Care Bears eyes and mouth because if you have any kind of design down in your mold sometimes the bubbles will attach themselves to those de that design that's down in your mold so I'm just checking the edges and making sure there's no bubbles there either. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and drop some inks in. That's not wanting to come out. I haven't used these in a while, so I'm just going to poke a pen down in the tip there, and that'll get it flowing. Okay, let's go in with the purple next. I love these pearl alcohol inks. Did I say that already? <laughs> that goes to tell, show y'all how, how much I do love these. Okay, now I'm going in with the blue. And now I'm going to go in with my Let's Resin Sinker White. Okay, I'm going to twirl them a little bit. Mix the colors around a little bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and use my heat gun, pop any surface bubbles, and move those inks around a little bit more. Spray a little bit of alcohol. Now we're going to follow that with some more epoxy resin. And I am using Let's Resin Epoxy. This is just, you know, a really good resin. You can do all kinds of things with it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go in with that purple again. Now I'm going to drop in the sinker white behind it. Now let's do the enchanted. And that's the pink. And then the sinker white. Okay, I'm going to grab that divine again. And I shake it up every time I grab one because they really like to settle down at the bottom really fast. And I'm going to uh, follow that with my sinker white. 
And now I'm going to use my heat gun, pop any surface bubbles, and get those inks to flow in. Spritz a little bit of alcohol. And now we're going to follow that with a little bit more resin. Okay, and I don't think we're going to add any more inks. I think that's pretty much going to do it right now. I don't want to go over my silicone piece in there. So I think we're pretty much at our limit with adding the epoxy. So I'm going to go ahead and heat that up and pop any surface bubbles. Spritz a little bit of alcohol. Cover it and I'll see you back when it's cured. Okay, we're back with a report from the editing department. It seems they lost some footage here. <laughs> that would be nice if I actually had an editing department. I'm sorry about the lost footage, y'all. But hey, all you missed was me demolding the bear and pulling the little silicone piece out of the center. There's a big hole through the center of the bear. So now we're just going to fill up that spear with all kinds of goodies here to put in the center of the bear. I'm just picking out some flowers. And I also have some um, breast cancer awareness pieces that I have in my hand right now, the ribbons. And we're gonna drop some of those in there because today is October the 1st and October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So yeah, we have to support that. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to drop some more in there. They keep bouncing off of my gloves and everything, flying everywhere. Like, there's some static going on there. <laughs> I can't keep them in my hand or put them inside the spear. They keep jumping everywhere. Okay, and these are some little uh, glittery lightning bolts. I put one of those in there. Some of the little diamonds. And I think that looks good. So we're going to go ahead and close it up. Okay. And see, let's slide it right there in the bear. Let's go ahead and cut off the piece that uh, has the hole through it where you can hang it. We don't need that anymore. So I'm just going to trim it off of there. And I sped the video up a little bit because I was uh, taking my sweet time through this part. Okay, let's slide it in there and push it out the front a little bit, right like that. And then let's go ahead and get our night light and see if it'll fit in there. Now, this is just a test piece, you guys. You know, so this is not the light I'm going to be going with. I'm going to push it out a little bit more. And let's see. Okay, I can resin that in there right like that. That'll work. And see, this resin piece is very light, so it's not going to uh, hang off of the, um, the plug-in when you plug it in. And I'm just trying to get it just right before we uh, drop the resin down in there and resin our nightlight in there. And this is just a complete test to see if I could actually pull this off. I'm just seeing if I could get by with pushing it out a little bit more. Okay, now it's time to decorate my favorite part of all. <laughs> okay, we need to also make sure that uh, we're going to use UV resin to set our spear in in the front. And I'm going to use Let's Resin, UV resin. And I put a little bit of silver glitter down in my measuring cup there. And I'm adding that UV resin to it. And this is what we're going to use to um, put the eyes and the mouth on our bear with. And then we're going to take um, UV resin and we're going to go around the spear and the belly of the Care Bear to make sure that it doesn't leak the epoxy resin from the back 
because that's how we're going to set the night light in in the back is with resin but it's going to be epoxy and not uv resin and i thought the silver uh, would look really cute on our care bear's face it's the holographic glitter and now I'm going to take my little uh, skewer stick here and I'm going to make sure that I have the resin completely covering the mouth and the eyes and making sure there's no bubbles in there. And I'm going to do the same over here. And now I'm going to take in my little micro brush here and I'm going to clean up around the area and make sure that it is clean. Then we're going to cure it up and there it is. I think it looks so cute. And now we're going to take some rhinestones and go around the belly of our Care Bear. Okay, but first we're going to go ahead and seal the belly with the UV resin. Okay, now let's get my Swarovski crystals out and my Gorilla Glue. This is my go-to glue, and I'm going to drop some of it down in my little plastic um, little thing you put paint in, like a little paint palette. And uh, I'm just going to dip my skewer stick in and out of it and take that Gorilla Glue and go all around the belly of the Care Bear. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take my crystal positioner and I'm going to drop the crystals around the belly of the Care Bear. And I'm going to play some light music until I finish. Enjoy! Okay, now we're back, and I think it turned out so beautiful. Look at him. Isn't he precious? Oh, he's so cute. Look at how the inks look inside of him. It just looks so pretty inside of there. Now we have to do something with the back of him. Let's put that light in there a minute and see what it looks like. I think it's going to work out just fine. Let's just take one more look at him. He's so stinking cute. <laughs> look at the inks. Looks like a pretty cloud in, inside of there. So pretty. You're so cute. Yes, you are. <laughs> what do y'all think about him? Do y'all think he's so cute? I ordered some more lights off of Amazon because I'm going to be doing some more night lights, you guys. I think they're cute. Okay, I mixed up 20 mils of Let's Resin Epoxy. And I put a little bit of glitter inside of there. I'm sorry that I didn't film that part. But I put just a little teensy-weensy bit in there. And I'm adding a little bit of that resin, making sure that it doesn't leak into the front. And it looks like it's going to be good. It's not going to leak. 
So let's go ahead and add some more epoxy and drop our light in there. Okay, we might as well go ahead and dome the back of our bear while we're at it and let that glitter just sparkle on the back of him. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing okay. I'm doing pretty good. I'm outside film, uh, videoing and it's so nice out here, you guys. This is my favorite time of year, the fall, and it's just, it's so beautiful outside. And I have a birthday in four days. I cannot believe I'm getting so old. <laughs> okay, you guys, here it is. It is all cured up. What do y'all think about it? Do you see that glitter on the back, how it's just sparkling and dancing? I think I might dome the front of him too. What do y'all think? Do y'all think I should dome the front of him? Let's plug him into this box right here. See how light that is? He doesn't even, you know, you can't, he doesn't weigh the box at all. You know, make it uh, look like it's heavy. Resin is so lightweight. I'm going to be making some of these for my shop downtown. So if y'all would like to see me make some more of these, I would love to do it with you all. Let me know if y'all would like to see that or not. Okay, well, it's about that time, my friends, for a sweet goodbye. And I will see you tomorrow. God bless you. Goodbye, my friends. <laughs>